171 passengers aboard Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 all survived after the plane's door plug blew off midair about 10 minutes after takeoff from Portland. I think if uh, they probably would not have had this occurred a few thousand feet higher. Now six passengers and one family member have filed a class action lawsuit against Boeing. Seattle-based Strittmotor firm says they suffered physical and emotional injuries. This is an extremely frightening traumatic event. The lawsuit details what happened on the 737 MAX 9 the moment the plane's door plug blew off. One of my clients had her head against uh, the panel, the side panel, and you know, resting her head against the, essentially the wall of the cabin of the aircraft. Uh, she was jolted up. Her head went back and forth, uh, like essentially a whiplash uh, situation. Attorneys say the passenger ended up with a concussion. Others suffered bruising, severe headaches, and bleeding ears because of pressure change. The lawsuit cites an NTSB report saying the noise from the gaping hole impaired flight crew communication. One of our clients said she didn't even know if the cockpit crew was alive. And these are the kinds of thoughts that were going through people's heads. The suit alleges Boeing delivered improperly manufactured aircrafts to Alaska Airlines. On Tuesday, Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun said the issue was, quote, our mistake. Now we're finally Boeing is waking up to the fact that whatever it's been doing late, <laughs> whether it's respect to the max or their production uh, methods uh, or lack of quality control, they need to own up to it. The suit is seeking damages for those injured and attorneys say more passengers could join. We reached out to Boeing tonight who declined to comment on the class action lawsuit.